Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. A uh, couple of folks asked me how I moved around my airplane like that in my previous videos. So I thought I'll do a video uh, about that and there's a couple of methods that you can use to do this. Um, you can see right now I am moving around the airplane very smoothly, um, checking out the engine, checking out the landing gear and maybe this is what you guys want to do. For example, on the PMDG 777, you need to do a walk around to make sure that the brake pins are healthy and good to go. Uh, that the tire health is good, all these things, you know, you you, you want to um, get out of the airplane and do a smooth walk around to admire the beauty, admire the textures, the shine, all of that. So that's what we're going to do today. I'll show you the first method with my phone camera real quick. And then the second one is if you do not want to spend any money at all. So stick around for that second one as well. Okay, so the first method is really simple. You just have to get yourself a nice simple controller. I have the Xbox controller here, but you can pretty much pick up any cheap controller from Amazon. I think I've seen some around 15 to $20 and that should do as well for this. So as soon as you connect the controller, it by default assigns itself to the camera function, which is very neat. So if I use the left stick, I can um, go forward, backward, move to the left and move to the right. Same way for the right stick that can be used for my rotation function and the other two, I don't know what the name is here, I believe it's the D-pad but this will tilt your camera to the left, tilt your camera to the right and then these two uh, other two sticks are used to change your elevation, elevation of the camera. And you can set your zoom with the plus and minus key. So if you want to really zoom in and stay close to the airplane, you can keep hitting plus and that will take you really close. Uh, basically, it decreases the field of view. And if you hit minus, uh, that will reduce the, well, increase the field of view and you'll get further away. And uh, you can basically edit it to your liking, uh, the zoom level, I mean. So that's the first method. Okay, so the second method is you can use your keyboard to do this. Now, it won't be as smooth because uh, keyboard inputs are analog. You are either pressing the key or you're not. Uh, so it won't be as smooth as doing it with a cheap controller, uh, but it's still a good way to do it. So right now I'm moving with my keyboard. And as you can see, I cannot control the speed. Uh, on the controller, I can pretty much really fine tune my speed uh, of rotation and translation but here I cannot anyway so to set that up you can go to your control options and uh, camera here and then open up drone camera and for translation I'm basically using WASD so W for forward S for backward A for translating left and D for moving to the right and for the tilt function I am using the num numpad on my keyboard. So I'm using number nine for tilting to the right and number seven for tilting to the left. The next one you'll need is pitching, right? So for pitching, I'm using number eight and number two. So that becomes very intuitive. And for yawing the drone to left and right, I'm using number four and six. So that my numpad becomes pretty much like the W, very similar to the WASD where two and eight are being used to uh, pitch drone up and down four and six are being used to pitch the drone well yaw the drone left and right seven and nine are used to roll my drone and five is the default key that i use to reset the camera back to the uh back to the default view so if i go back here and let's say i'm lost and i really want to just get back to my default view i'll hit five and that should reset me to the to the tail view that we start from so that's the second method. Uh, I hope this helps you guys. I hope this will help you to take better screenshots, take better videos and uh, yeah, just make sure that you're liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It really doesn't take much from your side, but it really, really, really helps the channel and it helps my motivation to make these videos. So I will highly appreciate that support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.